In this video, I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. I'm going to show you how to use one of my very favorite blending modes, which is the overlay blending mode to control lighting on objects, to mask lighting onto objects. So here we've got a project that I've worked on. Let's say that I wanted to cast more lighting on this individual image here. I'm going to create a raster layer on top of that. And I'm going to just with the brush tool, kind of draw a blob there. What happens is what you'd expect to happen, right? We can mask it onto the individual layer. We can change the opacity really quickly by using the shortcut to change it to 50%, 60%. I'm just using the numbers here, right? Um, but, and here's the important part. This is the different blending modes, right? You've got normal, you've got solve, darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, darker color, lighten, screen, color dodge, linear dodge, add lighter color, overlay, soft light, hot light, vivid light, linear light, pin light, heart mix, difference, exclusion, subtract, divide, hue, saturation, color, luminosity. Okay, so I'm not gonna go over all those, but something that I use all the time is overlay. Using overlay, to basically control the lighting of an object. Pretty much what you're seeing here is me changing the opacity on this white layer we just created. And I'm using overlay as a blending mode. And you can do this, you can use this in so many different ways. In this case, if I wanted to uh, maybe create a little bit of center lighting behind this icon, new layer, new raster layer here, and we'll change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Which is going to paint with white. And as you can see, as I'm adding more and more, I've got a 20% opacity brush right now. I'm adding more and more. You'll notice how the overlay burns into the image underneath. So that way we're using overlay to create the sense of lighting behind the object. And the good thing about this is that it's completely non-destructive. So if we wanted to do something else, let's say we wanted to have more of an orangey glow uh, in the background, we could pretty much do the same thing create a new layer, set the blending mode to overlay, and then draw with this with this color. You can do the old Hollywood and have a good old orange and blue. So that's pretty much using the overlay blending mode to edit and manipulate and, and create the sort of vibe or the temperature or feeling that you want non-destructively by just kind of adding that layer. Blending modes are really powerful. I use them every day. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, really. But learning overlay is a really good way of getting started with blending modes and, and kind of utilizing the power there. 